Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we're having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of pre-war binoculars which is being made by user a blind man and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is binoculars and I really do love this mod even though of course in the game we already do have a variety of scopes which we can attach to our guns which effectively serve the same purpose as a pair of binoculars for me from a role-playing perspective I just love the idea of having a designated set of binoculars to actually go and scout the wasteland around us and it, ju it just makes more sense to me and seems more fun in my mind now from a gameplay perspective if you aren't one much for role-playing they are actually a heck of a lot more useful than your standard scopes because they have a variety of different modifications which can put them way above the usefulness of a standard scope and that well that's just good icing on the cake for me and thankfully they are are pretty easy to get your hands on in the game as well this particular set that I bought rather than actually cheating them in like I normally do I bought them from that weapon vendor right down there and that just makes me happy as well of course you can find these in almost any weapon vendor in the game and if one doesn't have a binoc pair of binoculars when you go to them check back later they probably will they will fall under the weapon category uh, but you should be pretty easily able to find them in a store now as for out in the rest of the world they are in the leveled loot table so you will find them out in the wasteland as a semi rare item of loot so you will find them on occasion but not too often and well I think probably that's a good thing now also if you have the AWKCR mod installed you can build them at the weapon workbench so you can just make a pair on your own that's up to you so you have a variety of way to find them and or obtain them in some way and that's pretty good but if you don't want to wait for any of those or if you don't want to pay for one you can also find them up here in the mayor's office as well Right on the mayor's desk, he has this talk, lovely set of binoculars here, which dog meat's kind of blocking me from. This night vision 8x pair of binoculars, and that we can just take without any repercussions. And there we are. We have a free set of binoculars for our use and a set which are night vision. So let's actually take a look at these here in our Pip-Boy real quick, and let's take a look at the version I bought first off. Just a bog standard pair of 10x binoculars, and I'll mention right now that 10x is the highest zoom level you can get with any set of binoculars. So uh, what you guys saw earlier from me looking through these is as far as you are going to see, but you know what? I think that that is more than far enough. And this basic set that I bought at a store had that that zoom level and the standard pre-war metal body now on to the slightly weird things this does count technically as a weapon thus why we have all this stuff on the left hand side including an ammo type and the ammo type as you can see here is a battery and this battery is specifically used for the night vision module on the binoculars which of course this pair of binoculars doesn't come with but the ones we just took from the mayor's desk those do have night vision installed and without the batteries they will not actually do night vision so that is something to keep in mind now on a note on the ammo you can also buy this ammo from vendors it can be crafted with the awkcr mod and you can also find it as a semi-rare loot item just like the binoculars out in the commonwealth in general so you have a multitude of different ways to get your hands on these batteries for me i bought them from the vendor uh, down in diamond city and uh yeah you only need though one battery at least for right now at the moment the night vision just needs a battery to exist it doesn't actually consume the battery in the future the mod maker is wanting to actually change that so that the battery is actually consumed but for the time being as of the recording of this video 
it will not consume your battery, so you only need one. Now the fire rate is, well, basically how long it takes for you to turn on or turn off the night vision, which we'll talk more about later and is one of the reasons I like this more than scopes because, well, you can actually turn it on or off. And the range and accuracy, at first I was confused as to why these even had them, but then I thought about the actual uh, sway when looking through the binoculars. And of course, the higher the accuracy especially of this is, the less sway you're going to get. So that is a good thing to see. Now the weight will be 1.5, value 115, and well, that's pretty much it for that. Now if we go take a look at the night vision ones we stole from the mayor's office, you can see they're pretty much similar, a little bit less accurate in interestingly enough, but that's because this one is an 8x rather than a 10x. The lower the zoom amount, the lower the accuracy, and this one has a lightweight body installed, which means that it only weighs 1.2 rather than the previous 1.5. And if we actually look through these, we'll actually see the night vision effect. Now let's actually see if this will work real quick because actually, <laughs> uh, interestingly enough, there is a known bug with this particular pair of binoculars uh, that it doesn't always switch on and off the night vision. Yes, there we go. So what we need to do if you have this issue is you need to drop this pair of binoculars, pick them back up and they should be functioning now, I believe. So if we actually go to look through that, okay, night vision, if we turn it off, there we go, no night vision. So how you turn the night vision on and off is you toggle it by hitting the fire button. So whatever you have for fire, whether it's trigger on a controller or left mouse button, you hit that, the binoculars sort of tilt back and you have night vision. If you don't want the night vision, do it again and bam, no more night vision. And this alone makes this so much better than any scope out there because every scope in the game, it just has night vision either always on or it doesn't have night vision at all. So just the ability to turn that on or off makes me a happy, happy camper. So let us actually uh, go downstairs, which, oh boy, I think I turned on God mode, so let's just jump down. Oh, thank God I did. I had God mode on. <laughs> I was a little worried that we might die there, and uh, that would have been very awkward for the video. And let's go over to this uh, weapon tool bench so we can actually see what we actually can do with these. Now let's go to the 10X binoculars, because they are a basic pair of binoculars. And you'll notice in here we have two categories. The zoom, which you can either make 10x, 4x, 6x, or 8x, depending on how much you want them to actually zoom in or out. And of course, that also does affect the accuracy of them, so the sway of the binoculars. And it will require adhesive aluminum and glass, depending on which one you want, as well as gun nut of rank one. Now, if we go back out, we also have this other section, which is the actual body frame of this. You either have the pre-war standard, which is can be built for screw and steel, or the lightweight body, which with gun nut rank two, aluminum and screws, you can create, and this will help the stability of it. But also, remember, if we go back out here, we only have two categories. If we build the lightweight modification though here, we now have two more. We now have available to us night vision and a recon module slot. And that is awesome. So basically you're taking out all the empty space that's useless to you of the binoculars and making room for you to build a recon module, which will service just like any recon module in the game of, you know, yes, stage you stay stationary on a target, it marks them, and that'll need circuitry, fiber optics, and gold, and gun nut and science to create. Or, of course, night vision, or both if you like both of these installed, and the night vision will take circuitry, fiber optics, nuclear material, and again will require gun nut and science. 
And I love that fact that just making this thing lighter and taking out all the useless stuff gives you the room to make night vision as well as recon modules on here. And that just makes it all the better. It gives you more different options that you can add into these, which again, in my mind, makes it far better than any standard scope in the game. And yeah, you just kind of, you know, uh, adjust them to your will, whatever you wish for your binoculars to have. And then so when, once you have them set, you just go out into the world and start looking around at people. And it is wonderful. And of course, the night vision mode can be turned on and off once again, as mentioned. And that just makes me happy. Now, the recon mode will always stay on. Uh, sadly, I forgot to grab the materials to do that, but I mean, come on, you guys have all seen a recon scope at some point where it'll put the little diamond over a person's head if you stay on them momentarily. Uh, and that is all that does. A pretty simple but useful tool nonetheless. And I love it. I love it so much. And I hope you will love it too. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always. And I would definitely say to give it a try as it is just a wonderful and useful piece of kit. And uh, yeah, have a go at it, have a look, enjoy it. And of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode today and that you do come back for our next episode when we will be looking at what hopefully will be yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.